Well, uh, in prostate cancer, I think the, the key research area that we're now developing is uh, one, go for, for stereotactic body radiotherapy for primary prostate cancers too. This is mainly done in the United States and Canada. Uh, we are mainly focusing on new indications. Uh, for instance, patients with a heavy uh, lymph node metastatic load, having a lot of pelvic lymph nodes, uh, we, we don't consider them uh, not curable anymore. We consider them curable and we go for preventive radiotherapy of the, of the lymph nodes in the, in, the, in the abdomen, so the retroperitoneal region. Because we know once you have pelvic lymph nodes, you have a high chance of developing uh, lymph nodes higher up and this is a study we are doing now clinically, it's called a PART study and it's running really well. Uh, secondly, I think the, the interaction of, of immune therapy and stereotactic body radiotherapy will be, will be the, the, the future of, of, of research because we know that uh, stereotactic body radiotherapy apart from killing this blood vessels like I, I, I spoke about some minutes ago, it also stimulates the immune system. And I think that the, the upcoming decade that a lot of studies will check whether if you add radiotherapy or stereotactic body radiotherapy to immune therapy, for instance in kidney cancer, but also maybe in prostate cancer, whether this combination will not um, end up in uh, far better response rates than immunotherapy alone. And I think this, is the, this will be the future in, in, in radiation research. And then in generally speaking, of course, the, the proton therapy, but this is more... Uh, General, it's not, not new indications, it's more the use of new technology.